The last thing I'm going to show you in this series on uploading a plugin to WordPress.org is how to make one of these cool banners. They make your plugin much more visually interesting to the end user. And they make people want to use it. So we're going to go to the plugins page here on WordPress.org. And on the left, there's Developer Center. And then under Developer FAQ, the very last question, how do I make one of those cool banners for my plugin page? The first thing they tell us is that it's going to be in the Assets folder. We already have one of those because we put a screenshot in there. Inside, we need to make a file called banner-772x250.png or JPEG. It must be exactly 772 pixels wide and 250 pixels tall, no GIFs. It says here if you wish you can create a high DPI or retina banner at 1544 by 500. That's really all there is to it. You make that image, call it that, and you put it in your assets folder. I created this one for ours, and I've already put it into our assets folder. You can create your image with anything you like. I'm using the GIMP here. It's a free program for Windows, Mac, and Linux. But you could use Photoshop or anything you wish. Here we are in my Assets folder. And you can see I have my banner. Now I'm going to do SVN stat. And it tells us it doesn't know anything about that banner. So I do SVN add banner. Now SVN stat says it's been added. So do SVN CI dash M. Put in my password. And there we are, it's uploaded. Now let's take a look at our plugin page. And it's not there yet, but that's okay. Just like with the screenshot, it can take up to five minutes. All right. I've just reloaded, and here we have our cool banner. I put in some fade on the bottom of my image so that the large letters would show up. But as you can see, I didn't really need to do that because they do that cool black background. But I still like the way it looks. We've now gone through the whole process of putting a plugin on WordPress.org. There are a number of steps, but if you follow them exactly, it's actually pretty hard to mess it up. And if you do, there are actually humans watching all this going on, and they'll let you know what you did wrong. I hope this helps you build the courage to upload your own plugin.